we have been friends for a long, long time, and he comes on Sunday mornings early, and he comes and he works, and he bothers me for a little bit, and then when he knows I'm tired of him, he leaves, and he goes back, and he works some more. He makes sure things are in place, the, the, plate, the sidewalks are blown off, the baptistry is filled, and all of those things. And uh, this morning, we want to honor him. And Glenn, you know who I'm talking about, because he's already scowling at me for doing this, because he doesn't like recognition. But Glenn, I want you to come forward this morning. And I'm going to have the elders come and stand around you. Glenn, your years of service have not gone, gone, gone unnoticed. Good to... I just brushed my teeth and can't do a thing with them. We are going to present you with a plaque today, Glenn, but you can't take it home. We're going to hang it in the hallway. Can I take a picture? We might let you take a picture, but I do want this dusted on a regular basis. It says, presented to Glenn Presser with our sincere appreciation for your works produced by faith, your labor prompted by love, and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for living the example Paul said in Philippians 4.13, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Your Christ follower example or a blessing to this congregation here at the North Tampa Church of Christ. And Glenn, when we're done here, I want that hung somewhere in the foyer. <laughs> Glenn is, as most of you know, is going through a very difficult battle with cancer. And the prognosis has not been what we wanted, but we are so thankful to God that he is having good days and that he has been able to be with us here today. Glenn, we love you, and we want to pray for you now if uh, we as a congregation can bow and go to God for Glenn's behalf. Father in heaven, it is just an awesome, awesome joy to be able to come before you and express our hearts to you and express our love for you and express our love for each other. Today, Father, as we honor Glenn for his years of service at this church, for his example of servanthood, for his willingness to continue to strive onward, even in the difficulty of pain and weakness. Father, I ask that you continue to give Glenn good days, that he may be with us for a long time. But Father, we know that for Glenn to live is Christ and to die is gain. And today, Father, as we honor him, we thank you for the blessing of his fellowship, for being one with him as brothers and sisters in Christ, and for giving us this opportunity to express our love for Glenn and honor him today. We pray these things because of your son, and it's in his name we pray. Amen. I was honored, but I was surprised. You know, and receiving it, you know, I'm just doing what I normally do as a Christian, so I don't expect, you know, the, the accolades that come along with what I do. You know, it's just part of my life, so. Okay. You know, obey your parents and your adults, but then find what you can do and what you know you can do, and then don't, don't say that you can't do something. And, and that falls in Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through Christ. So, you know, yeah. find something, work at it, and then add to it. At this point in my life, you know, I, I, I look back that everything I did here, I've been rewarded. But in the final end, 
to be with God and Christ and all those who have gone by before me. That's, that's my greatest reward, and that's like what I look forward to. Uh, while I was here, you know, I'm doing what, what I could do to the best of my abilities and the talents that God gave me to, to use. And I, through the years, I've built on those things and added to it. And that's all I can say about that. Okay. Glenn Presser, I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>